Hey guys, this will be a long-awaited Q&A video. Um, this time I got close to 50 questions and um, the reason why I couldn't upload any uh, rip answering videos last weekend was because you might have already seen but I made a uh, Reptile Expo video and pickups so I didn't really have much time to uh, upload anything other than those two videos and I had to make setups for this new uh, edition. Anyway, without further ado, um, I'll talk about them maybe in some other video or maybe in this video. But I'll try to answer almost your all of your questions. And if your questions or if you want to know that your questions are in here, just check in the description down below. Um, I will be leaving all your channel names, which I'll be replying to in this video in the description. So if your channel name isn't there. Um, Sadly, I couldn't reply to your comment or something like that. Anyway, um, let's get started. I'll try to reply to almost all of them. Okay, so, um, first comment comes, well, comments come from Cadence Fish and Herbs, Kyle Tran, and Epic Flame 25. Will you get any fish? Um, I was thinking to actually get maybe some sort of little fish. Um, to add in my Firebelly Newt tank, maybe, but it's a little crowded with four Newts at the moment, so I don't think I'll be getting any anytime soon. Maybe once I get, like, even a bigger room, if my brother moves out or something, and if I have some space, a uh, spare space to share, uh, maybe I might, but for now, I don't think I will. Um, but I will definitely keep in mind that they are cool animals, and... I would like to have them someday. Anyway, uh, next question. What's your favorite type of fish? Uh, sickles, schooling fish, catfish, etc. from Spino Raptor. Um, I really don't have <laughs> um, much of any kind of favorite fish yet since I haven't kept any, but from the books I really like the royal knife fish. Um, they look really cool. I've seen a couple albinos at my local pet store and they're pretty cool looking, but at the moment I don't think I'll be getting any fish, like I said. Um, next comes from Adam Can, uh, top three monitor lizards. Um, Perenni, Lace Monitor, and I guess the Aki, since they're all so cool and cute. <laughs> next is from Nueva Reptiles. I'm sure that I said that wrong, but sorry. Uh, why do you pick reptiles and amphibians? Um, from the looks and for reptiles, my friend uh, showed me this little forest near my old house and we went her herping. That time I didn't know what herping meant, but anyway, I was seven and I caught these little wild grass lizards and they were so cute. Um, I kept them for a while and released them and then I found out that there were a lot more cooler uh, herbs in other countries and I got into the reptile world and for amphibians you may know IHTW Reptiles. He inspired me to get a couple amphibians. Um, I did try getting frogs and newts uh, even before that but it didn't go well but the second time I tried it went really well so um, that's one of the reasons why I like both amphibians and reptiles. Um, Next comes from Sheen Higgins. Uh, where did you get your spiny tailed iguana and how big do they get? Um, let me show you my spiny, uh, spiny tailed iguana uh, right now. So he was up on the cage net to get some heat from the lamps, I suppose. But anyway, he's still juvenile, I suppose, or maybe even sub adult. But um, these guys get to about 30 to 35 centimeters. Uh, maybe this guy is a different kind of species, but they are definitely some kind of Madagascan spiny-tailed iguanas. And a couple of species of them do uh, roam around the pet trade, so I'm not exact on which kind of one it is, but they do get to about 30 centimeters usually. So, And I got mine at a reptile expo for a good deal. Next question comes from Reptiles We Are. Uh, what kind of snake would you like to get? Um, I don't know yet, really. Um, I do want to maybe keep one in the future, um, but 
maybe some kind of cool looking morph of ball pythons or something, but I've never kept snakes in my life yet, so um, I don't know really what's the good ones and what's the hard ones so much yet, but I'm sure they they are basically pretty fun to keep, so maybe some kind of ball python at the moment, but yeah. Next is from Amphibian Boss. What's your most rare reptile or amphibian? Um, for the reptile that I own, you're looking at him. It's my Gigi Skink. And for the amphibians, for the amphibians, it's definitely this little guy, the Marbled Newt. Um, I got him out for just video purposes, but yeah, he's getting big already, and he's gotten his weight back, but. He's definitely one of the most rare amphibians that I have at the moment. In the same time, it could be the Japanese clouded salamander um, for you folks that don't live in Asia um, due to the fact that they are not really so common on the pet trade. So maybe this guy is more rare. I don't know. For the price, the marble newt is way more higher than these guys in Japan though. Next is from Snakes with Shades, top three dinosaurs. Um, I only know a few of them, so I'll just say one, if that's okay. Um, I've ha I have to go with the Spinosaurus, or what, um, you know, the one with the cool back fin thing, the cell fin thing on the back, the dinosaur, anyway, that one. Um, I like that one. I don't really know really any dinosaur names, so sorry, but I hope you know what I'm talking about. Um, next question is from Bearded Dragon Jake. Could you show your whole room from the door? No problem. Okay, here's a question from US Herping Channel 06 or 06. Uh, will you ever get any pets that aren't reptiles or amphibians? Um, I actually have a dog that's a mixed breed of German Shepherds and a Shiba Inu. And um, she's out on a walk at the moment, so I don't think you'll see him, but her. But um, I do show her in my videos from time to time, so I'm sure you've seen her. But without the dog, um, I don't think that I will be getting any for um, at the moment. Um, if you mean about getting them in the future, um, I don't know yet. Um, that's up to my future, so hmm. Next comment or question comes from Lewis Monroe and Dumpy Gecko. Will you get anything large like a monitor lizard? I do not know at the moment. Um, really, I don't have space for anything large. Um, the largest kind of herb that I can own right now is definitely the minimum is a bearded dragon and he's still a little baby. Um, but yeah, I can't really get any more room or space to put any more uh, animals in my room. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be getting them anytime soon. And if I were to get one, I think I'd get a red tegu. But yeah, not anytime soon. Uh, next one is from Jake Miller. Uh, do they have dart frogs in Japan? And if they do, would you get one? Um... They do feed on little fruit flies, so um, I do not know that I will, I don't think I will get one anytime soon due to the fact that I don't want to get any more kinds of different food sources from crickets and mealworms and uh, veggies and fruit fr flies are really hard to get in Japan, at least. I've har I hardly ever see them for sale at pet stores, so... Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be getting dart frogs anytime soon. But yeah, they always look pretty cool. And they will be like a really cool touch in vivariums. So um, yeah, but they do have a lot of dart frogs in Japan. Anyway, next question comes from Extreme Reptiles. 
what's your favorite lizard slash amphibian? Um, for the species that I do not own, um, I do really love the shingled back lizards. And for amphibians, I don't really remember the name, but I think they were called the Kaiser's Newt. Um, the black and white spotted newt. They look so awesome. But for the ones I own, I like all of them equally since they're my pets and I can't really, you know, choose a, a number one out of them. Uh, next question comes from uh, Jude Teo. Uh, what happened to your croc-eyed skink? skink? <laughs> um, this one is a little sad, but... Um, he passed away like a year ago due to a infection to the tail and I didn't have him for a long time or anything but yeah he's gone he's long gone from a while ago that sort of sucks he was pretty gentle but mm, he is not here anymore uh, next question comes from epic face gaming what's your favorite reptile slash amphibian that I have I, like I said, I can't really choose a number one out of all of them, but for now I really love the Gigi and the Bearded Dragon and my Leopard Gecko, but I love all of them equally. Um, next question is from King 33 Do you breed your feeders, and if not, how much do you have to uh, get per visit, and how much does it cost? Um, I do not breed my feeders. Um, I always buy them at pet stores. Um, I get at least 20 crickets um, every time I go to a breeder's place to get them and that costs about basically 300 yen so about three American dollars. Not too expensive at least in Japan um, so meh. Um, and if I do get any other kind of food sources, it will cost less than 10 bucks, so it's not really much of a big deal. And I go there about once in two weeks, but lately I'm going there to get uh, food almost every week. Um, next question is from Jonathan Van Kamen, or Kamen, sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Um, his question is... Uh, would you ever get fire belly toads? Um, sure, maybe someday. Um, not at the moment since I have no space for anything new. Um, but they are really cool looking and um, they are relatively very cheap. So if I have a chance and if I have room, I wouldn't mind getting some. Next question comes from... The Chameleon Kid. Would you breed beardies? Uh, do you prefer amphibians or reptiles? And what do you want to be in when you're older? Um, I will not breed my bearded dragon due to the fact that I want to keep him or her as a uh, pet lizard and not a breeding subject at the moment. Um, I really want to have like nice times with my reptiles and stuff. For now, instead of like breeding purposes, and I do need like license to sell them in Japan, if I uh, if I'm thinking to breed them or anything, since I don't have room for 12 new beardies. So at the moment, not gonna breed the beardies. Um, and I prefer reptiles as uh, petting and like looking at and watching because they do move around a lot more and they are fun to watch but amphibians do suit uh, vivariums a lot more and they do not wreck the tank unlike some reptiles talking about you dude you <laughs> um, but yeah um, they do b both have good sides and I like both almost equally and finally you ask that uh, what I, what I want to be when I'm older, I definitely want to have to do. I want to have something to do with these awesome animals like reptiles and amphibians. So that's gonna be another five years or more for me. 
um, to do anything like that, but yeah, I wish I could do something with these guys in the future. Uh, next question comes from Nyx Exotics. Will you ever get a chameleon? Not at the moment. Um, they look very cool, but um, I have no sm space. Um, like I said so many times, but um, they do need a lot of, like, how do you say it? I can't think right now, but um, they are not too easy to care for, at least in Japan. It gets hot and cold in the winter, and the summer is hot, um, and it's pretty humid and moist, so I don't know if that's good for chameleons or not. But at the moment, I don't think I will. Um, next question comes from RJ Pets. What do you think of Pac-Man frogs, and would you ever want one? Um, I do not mind about them. They are pretty cute big frogs once grown up. And um, at the moment, I keep saying this, but no room, no space for any new additions. These two that I got at the expo are going to be the last for a long, long time. But yeah, they are pretty cool frogs indeed. Uh, next question is from Lego Film 1000. What's your favorite amphibian? Uh, do you, and do you buy animals online? My favorite amphibian. Um, I have so many favorites for these guys. So basically all of them. And the ones that I have, <laughs> almost all of them as well. And I do not buy any animals on the internet anymore due to the fact that it's illegal in Japan. Uh, you could still get amphibians, but you can't get any reptiles anymore from the internet. So I always go to expos now at, or the local breeder's place. So I do not buy any more reptiles and stuff on the internet. And shipping costs a lot, so yeah. Uh, next question comes from Lizards101. What's your favorite animal? Reptiles and amphibians. <laughs> uh, next question from Softrog. Would you get a turtle? They are very cute, but I'd want a box turtle for sure someday. Oh, they're so cute with their little heads and the ones with the little red arms. They're so cool. But like I said, no space right now. Uh, next question from is from Herping Herps TV. What are th other things you like? Any other than animals? Um, and Ryan Howard and Herping Herps TV asked if do I even lift, bro? Um, I don't lift. Sorry, but anyway. Um, I do like, man, almost everything I do includes animals, but I like cycling and going outdoors, shopping, I guess, but that has something to do with animals since everything that I buy is something to do with these guys. Um, hmm. I do sort of like fishing, but I haven't gone in a year, so yeah, not really many stuff without these guys. I like to watch videos and stuff on YouTube, but meh. I'm not a big fan of gaming so much, but I like to chat on Facebook. I do have Instagram and Facebook, so if you guys want to check my channel out, I will leave descriptions down below about my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram links. Um, next comment comes from Reptile Guys. What's your favorite snake? Hmm. Well, I did say ball pythons, and for the reply for reptiles, we are so um, ball pythons, I guess. And finally, last comment comes from Dutch Herbs Van Ramstonk. Would you show us your face and be my friend? I'm your fa friend on Facebook, bro. Dude, come on. And no face showing for you, bro. No, no. So, sorry I couldn't show my face, but come on, I did say that I won't show my face on YouTube ever. 
Um, but anyway, for those who weren't, uh, those questions who that weren't answered in this video, I'll be sure to answer them in the other video. Um, and yeah, that's it for this episode. Hope that settled the questions from you guys. Um, I like reading all of these questions and stuff, so... Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on these two new rep, uh, editions as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. And let's see if I could catch this fella. Come on, yeah. So, this guy definitely grew a lot since the last time I showed you last week. Um, he's a little big fat uh, food eater, and he loves eating... I'm um, gonna let him run loose on my arm. Oh god, don't fall. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.